So, as you guys know, I usually just start a video by welcoming you all to the new video. But it doesn't feel appropriate to do that in this video because this video may go wrong, it may go right, or it may just be in between. So, today I'm trying to run Steam VR on a Mac. Now, I've tried doing this through Parallels. Parallels, as much as it's a great software, it really isn't made for gaming on this Mac, although it's M18 gigs of RAM. Parallels limits it to four cores of both CPU and GPU and four gigs of RAM, which, you know, ain't ideal for gaming. And it also didn't work so well with some of the other softwares. So what I'm trying to do today is get it working natively on the Mac. Now, you may think, well, tech on the brain, that's, that's crazy. Macs aren't made for gaming. Well, yes and no. Ever since Apple dropped support for OpenGL, a lot of games have not worked. But I have high hopes for VR working, and here's why. You can install the Steam VR client on Mac and quite a few Steam VR titles. Now, you may think, okay, that's fine, but I've never seen a Valve Index or HTC Vive on this channel. Well, here's the thing. Um, we're going at it on two levels today. I'm going to be trying to do it on this. Now, this is the Google Daydream first gen, because after I got it, I realised there was a second gen and thought, oh, I should have really got the second gen. Now, I'm going to be putting my Pixel 3 into this, which is running V-Ridge 2, and just hoping it all links up okay. Um, Riftcat and V-Ridge 2 make it so you can basically stream a Steam VR image to your phone over USB or Wi-Fi and may I just say their customer support is really good. They get back to you same day and it's great. But so hopefully this works. I'm just hoping but also if it don't work hopefully nothing goes wrong with my Mac. So I say the first step, this isn't a step-by-step -step guide. It probably isn't advisable to do this the way I'm going to do it. There's probably better ways to do it, like don't be cheap and buy yourself a proper VR headset. Uh, yes, I probably have just offended a million people. I don't mean it like that. So basically, the first step is going to be install Steam VR client. Now you can just search for this in Steam as Steam VR. I already have it in my Steam library from when I tried to do this in Windows 11. Yes, I have only just realised I should have tried it in 10 first. Um, but yeah, just go to install that. I've already got it in the library, so for me, it's just as easy as go to library, click Steam VR and install. So just gonna because um voiceover wants nothing to do with um apps that aren't made by Apple. Yes, I have just gone on install and I just realised. Um because Steam VR, sorry, because VoiceOver wants nothing to do with non-Apple apps, I will be using a bit of Zoom here. So, just on Steam VR, then I'm going to check, uh, check, press the install button, which is blue, and then just get through all the screens it says about. Is that installing? Probably not, so, because I've probably, yeah. You ever realise on Steam, you think the one nearest, the button nearest the edge of the page is going to be continued, but it ain't, that's cancel. So now I'm just going to check I'm pressing the right buttons and uh, let's see next, yep, yep, yep. Uh, 
and and yeah, definitely says finish. And Steam VR is or it is installing, so should be a fairly short installation. But because I don't have much to talk about, I'm going to bring you back. Um, when it's installed through the power of iMovie. So, yeah. So, I went to open Steam VR on my Mac after it installed. Unfortunately, we ran into a problem which is gonna make, have to make it so that this video is potentially split into multiple parts and this will be the first part. Um, it said that Steam VR required. That's going to talk in a minute. I think one minute. There we are. It said that Steam VR required an extra executable and to go on to the web or Steam VR support for that. Now, this could mean one of two things. I think either it they've just ended support. Just I know Steam have ended support for Mac OS, but a lot of non open GL Steam games for Mac still work on Mac. So it's either that Steam VR have ended support and it's just given me an executable error. Or there really is an extra executable I do actually need to download. Now, as for which one of these it actually is, I'm not sure. I feel like it might be more that I just need to download something extra because when you go to Apple and ask how do I 360 video edit in Final Cut Pro, they tell you to install Steam VR, so I personally think Steam VR is still available at the very least, available to the point where it's not going to throw an executable error at us. Um, so unfortunately, that's going to have to go into another part. But quickly, I wanted it to. Just put, I was going to do this in a separate video, but I've run out of things to fill this video with because you don't want to see me searching for drivers the whole video. Um, Quickly, I want to uh, say how I think gaming on the Mac is going. I think now that the new M1 Pro and M1 Max Max are out, um, gaming on the Mac is going to be took more seriously by developers and more games are going to be ported. Hopefully, here's the thing. So, I tried to install a game from Steam on my Mac before, but it gave me an OpenGL error, which OpenGL is basically a free to use from what I know graphics standard. Um, I think it was in macOS Mojave, I'm not saying that right, but macOS Mojave, whatever it was called, it was named after the desert, so, um, <laughs> so that's when Apple dropped support for OpenGL, I think, and just to add fuel to the fire, 32-bit um, was dropped in Catalina, so... The problem we have there is a lot of games are still using OpenGL because the studios don't have enough money to pay Apple to use Metal. We also have the problem that 32-bit has been taken away, meaning that games that could be originally played on the Mac can no longer be played on the Mac. And also... We have that Rosetta 2, as good as it is, is a CPU structured translator, which is the best way I can say that apparently. 
Um, it, it's not a graphics translator. So OpenGL isn't going to be translated into metal. So our only option is to try and convert OpenGL games into metal. Now, don't actually answer this question. It's rhetorical. Do I look like the sort of person who knows how to do that? Because I ain't. I don't have a clue how to do that. I'm working on having a clue how to do that because I really want gaming to come to the M1 Max. They've got a lot of potential. And by that, I mean the M1 Max, not the chip. Um, but right now, they're just not. I think certain games are still being released with Mac OS support. Psychonauts 2 is set to be released with um, Mac OS support. And I found the original Psychonauts with Mac OS support, both great games. Um, the problem is it it's just it's just not not enough games. Even the guy so you've either uh, got an open GL ever, you've got technical tests on Steam, or you've got, you know, fine actually playable games like I know you know, Apple Arcade games playable. Um Certain games off the App Store, like the Metro games, have been ported playable. But say someone bought a Mac for gaming without knowing any of this, and please don't, if you're going to buy the Mac for gaming, please don't at the current time, unless you're buying an Intel Mac, then maybe... But I wouldn't bet on your GPU up being up to gaming then. Um, but yeah, you know, don't buy the Mac for gaming is what I'm saying here. Imagine if you bought the Mac for gaming though, which again, please don't, and all you could get to work was the Bioshock series and the Metro games, because they're the only AAA... Is Metro even AAA? I think it is, but they're the only sort of, well, not sort of good games, they're good games, but they're the only games you can get to work, and they don't even run natively on the M1.